Hi guys, it's Sam here from Zoom UK and we're going to have a quick look and unboxing at the Zoom F8. And this is a really, really exciting product and I must admit I've actually looked in the box myself just to see what it's like because I was a bit excited uh, to see what it was all about. Uh, but we're just going to go through this experience together, have a little look at the unit and see what we think. And uh, this video has also been recorded on a Q8 uh, camera. Okay, so let's have a quick look around the box first of all. So we've got the nice packaging here, which I think is really, really awesome and really professional. I think Zoom over the last few years have really upped their game in terms of packaging. Uh, so it's got a nice white box with the image on the front there. Uh, on the side here, we've got some weird for creators, which is our awesome slogan. Zoom on the side there. And on the other side here, we've got a little bit of information and we've got the, the bundled software, which is Cubase and WaveLab LE. Okay, so let's first of all take off the uh, first bit of packaging, which is a nice cardboard sleeve. Okay, and now we have the F8 itself. We have a nice white box here, which just plainly says F8 in the middle. Let's pop this off. So first of all, we're greeted with a bit of packaging. Uh, here, a bit of protective foam. So again, we'll just chuck that to one side for a second. Here is the AD19 adapter which uh, is 12 volts and two amps. And now the moment which I think everyone's been waiting for is the look at the Zoom F8 itself. So but out, move this box to the back. Okay, so it comes in this nice little protective bag, which I have opened myself a little bit overzealously this morning. Uh, so it's not in the best of conditions at the moment. So let's just pop this off. Okay guys, here it is. This is the Zoom F8. Move it a bit closer to the camera so you can see it. This unit, I'd probably say it's around seven inches uh, width, or about four inches in depth uh, or so. Um, really, really nice metal, solid construction. Got a bit of weight to it, but not too much, which is fantastic. Really, really portable in my opinion. So to start us off with, on the front of the unit here, we've got the eight controls, the eight game wheels there, with all the peak meters there. And you just press the numbers to the inputs and to make them armed for recording. We've got our menu button, little scroll wheel to go through the menu, menu button itself, uh, headphone, headphone volume, play pause, record, power, uh, rewind, fast forward, stop, and also this, this little switch up here controls the slate mic, whether you want to use the internal slate or you want to use an external. Okay, so let's flip around now to the left hand side. As you can see, we've got four XLR TRS combo sockets there. We've also got two SD card sockets, which have a nice little tactile click to them when you close them, which I think is really satisfying. Um, got your USB, which can be used uh, for data transfer and also as an audio interface when you have connected the AD, uh, AD90 adapter. We've also got this little socket here, which is used for external power supplies as well. Let's flip over to the back now. And on the back, we've got, first of all, we've got this little door here. When this is open, this reveals the space for the Zoom mic capsules, the proprietary mics, which come with the H6 and the H5 and also the Q8. So if you do have a shotgun mic of your own, or you want to use an XY capsule, you can plug this into there and it basically utilizes inputs one and two of the F8. Okay, now we've got a little battery door, so I'll just pop that open. It's got a nice, it's got a nice sort of screw here, which means that uh, it's, the battery door isn't gonna come flying open. It's also quite sturdy as well. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with this down the line, personally. Uh, so you open this up here, and you're first greeted with this little pull-out tray. Pop the side open, four batteries. The other side open, another four batteries. And all you do is simply slot that back in like so. Close, screw the little screw in, and you're away. We've got the time code in, got time code out there, and we've got the DC power there, and also a little, little lock socket there. Okay, on the right hand side of the unit, we've got a sub out, headphone jack, uh, two mini XLRs, which I'll get to in a second, uh, main out one and main out two, and then we've got our four extra XLR and TRS sockets there. The top of the unit purely is just a nice brushed sort of metal finish, which is zoom. On the bottom, we've got a tripod mount there. Excellent, so let's have a look in the box and let's see what else this, uh, this comes with. I'll just pop this to one side. So we've got again a bit of packaging, a bit of foam there, a bit of protection. Okay, so this is a really cool accessory in my opinion. This screws onto the top of the unit and you can put your camera, screw your SLR or whatever camera you're using onto the top of this and then you can screw the zoom onto a tripod of its own. So you don't have to worry about having a couple of different tripods and you can just literally have your camera on there and see exactly what's on the screen while you're, while you're recording, which I think is great. We'll do a little test of that later on the side as well. So now we've got our mini XLR sockets here, which basically converts the mini XLR into a full size. So I'll just demonstrate that quickly now. So you pop that in on the uh, right hand side. 
like so. Just locks in nicely and then you just push the little switch and you're out. And those two of them are again included in this package. Here's the second one. Okay, so now we pull out a little bit more packaging and we're greeted with the user manual and all, all the various nice bits there. Your warranty card from Zoom UK and also the activation cards for Wavelab and Cubase as well. So you need to make sure you don't throw them away because they're really important. And that's all that's in the box really. So let's just now pop this away and uh, let's have a quick look at what a DSLR camera looks like on top of the F8. Okay guys, here we go. So now we've got the F8 with my Canon uh, 700D mounted on top of it, um, nice and secure. And the great thing is, is now you will have the tripod mount still free on the bottom of the unit. So you can just mount this on the tripod and away you go. Right, now my Tamron lens is pretty heavy, um, but even holding the camera, the lens and the F8 together in one hand, it is certainly manageable. It's got a bit of weight to it, um, but you could, you could you know, carry it one-handed without worrying about uh, dropping it or anything like that. Uh, nice and sturdy. Okay guys, that's about it really. Um, so if you've got any more requests for any more F8 videos, please do let us know. We'd love to hear them and I'd also be happy to help uh, if you've got any uh, feature requests or, or something similar. Um, the F8 is going to retail at £798 in the UK. Uh, we don't have an exact release date yet, but we're still hoping for later on this month, fingers crossed. Thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching uh, and please do like and subscribe. Thank you.